Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make one of the two dream videos that I told you I would make yesterday. I don't like making videos in the morning. That's why my pic's not up because I'm not presentable. My hair's not brushed yet. <laughs> um, also, my sinuses are always draining in the morning. So if, my, if I have to cough or clear my throat, I apologize ahead of time. Alright, um, these two dreams um, sort of, they might seem like they're sci-fi, <laughs> um, but that's, the Lord just gives me different dreams, um, and sometimes the ones that seem like they don't have a meaning, the Lord tells me about that very next morning when I wake up, or even sometimes before that, what they mean. So it doesn't have to be, you know, um, just like the cows and haystacks that Joseph had with just symbols in it. A lot of times the symbols are mixed into like a whole dramatization or a little mini movie or such. And the Lord reveals um, just in an instant what it means. And so that's what he did with these two dreams that I had yesterday morning. Yesterday in the early morning before I had awoke. So, um, and then just remember that I'm pretty sure most of John's vision of Revelation that he was told to write down looked like it was some kind of a movie with all the things that were happening and the destruction that was coming upon the earth and so forth. Um, all right, so this dream was actually the second one that I had. The other one's a bit longer. All right. So I, in my dream, I was like an astronaut, but I was able to travel through time. Um, so it was, the time travel was possible. And part of my mission was to go to space, and it was a secret mission. I had a secret mission to go to space and save our planet from invasion, from an alien invasion, which... The aliens obviously represent um, the fallen angels. Okay, so um, aliens had already traveled in my dream at this point when I was commissioned to go do this to try to stop their, their coming. Um, the world was under the influence that uh, they'd already come and we were all living peaceably. So aliens had traveled here and they had lied to all of us by saying we had already we had already went into the we had already went into the future. And stopped their invasion and we then therefore had a amicable relationship. So we were getting along fine. Uh, they changed, but in actuality, the demons or the aliens had come and they had changed our papers, our newspapers, our books, our literature, um, billboards, the hit movies. They had changed everything um, so that they brainwashed the people that we were at peace with them and they had been here for a long time when they really hadn't. I saw through the lies, I saw the truth and I was trying to tell everyone, even my superior, that we still needed to go to to do the mission because the influence that we were under, the delusion that we were under was a lie and we needed to complete the mission as planned because they had already begun their invasion. And um, we hadn't really fought the aliens yet. They had come and put this delusion over us. And it was a hoax to make us believe it so that we wouldn't fight, so that we wouldn't go against them. We would just peaceably succumb to their influence. We would just give up, and then they wouldn't. They we, we wouldn't have to attack, and they would win. 
So pretty much you can tell the interpretation of that dream probably without me telling you, but the enemy and his demons are planning their takeover upon the world. That The enemy has been here since he fell from grace. And we know... So, oh, I forgot to flash through the, the slideshows for you. Um, so, I was supposed to keep calm and complete the mission. Aliens are really fallen angels, without a question mark here. The world, and my even my superior was telling me, just keep calm and basically keep drinking the Kool-Aid, even though they didn't realize that they were drinking the Kool-Aid. But we know <clears throat> that the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, 1 Peter 5.8. And we're told to be sober, to be vigilant, because our enemy the devil walks about like a lion seeking whom he may devour. We need to be watchful, be awake, not be drinking the Kool-Aid. We need to be in the word so that we can see the ways of the wicked one and we can combat it. So in my dream, basically, those that are those that see what the enemy is trying to do, we already know that the enemy has a big influence over the entertainment industry, over the world, over uh, morals of the world. He's gaining a foothold, a bigger foothold, in all these different areas. And he doesn't want us to fight, right? Just like the aliens in my dream. The enemy doesn't want us to fight because then we'll win because the Lord's greater than he is. Amen. And greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. And that's what, that's what um, was part of my talk yesterday when I went over Nehemiah 4. So he doesn't want us to fight. He wants... And he's, we're, we've been like frogs in a pot of water that's been slowly heated up, our nation and the human race as a whole. And he's slowly infiltrated with lies and deception um, to draw us away from the Lord and what really matters. So we need to wake up and be sober, and we need to watch, and we need to understand that we need to fight because in my dream nobody wanted to fight they were all under the under the delusion of the enemy and they were fine with it because everything was peaceable they didn't want to have an up uh, a ruckus but we need to cause a ruckus because we need to fight the enemy in first timothy 6 12 Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. So like in my dream, we need to press on. We need to wake up. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid of the world. We need to focus on what really matters on the Lord Jesus and sharing the gospel with other people that are, are not saved. And um, wake up, because the days are evil, and the time is short that we have to share and get the word out there so that everybody is not lost. Deception, there's many verses, I'll leave a link for this, but there's many verses about the deception of the enemy. And um, Romans 12, too, I like this one. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. It sort of leads leads out of that box there. But And James, back to James, I shared James 4, 2 or 4, 4 yesterday. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Okay. And... The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Proverbs 11.3 Matthew 24.42 Therefore stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. Okay, so I'll leave a link to this. Um, good verses to avoid being deceived. 
And we know we need to put on the full armor of God, which part of that is being in, having the, the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, to combat the enemy. All right. And Ephesians 5.14. Therefore, he says, Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you, the, give you light. So we need to let our light shine and be workers for the kingdom and not um, me, uh, meek followers that just go along with the uh, with the enemy's lies and we try to be peaceable but not fight against the enemy and wake those up that are still sleeping so we can't give up and we need to make people aware of the times that we're in so that the deception, the great lie that the enemy uses will not deceive them in these end times because it says he'll cause a lie. Um, that even the elect may be deceived. So we need to make sure that we're watching, we're sober, we're waiting, and we're praying, and we're reading, and we're being in his word. We are sometimes blinded to the schemes and plans of the enemy, but we need to wake up and be ready to fight. And that's what the dream was about. God bless.